Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on your YouTube channel. We all know what the word nothing means in English and how it's used. But in today's video, I want to focus your attention on some aspects of this word in English that you may have heard nothing of before or no one may have told you about before. We're going to look at how nothing is used in different English phrases and idioms to form beautiful sentences with beautiful meanings. Are you ready? Of course you are. But before we continue, I kindly want you to like this video in support of this channel. I hope you with your English. You please kindly help me with the growth of this channel by liking this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet and leave a comment down below by telling me from which country you're watching these videos. Now let's get started. Well, the first English phrase that the word nothing is used in is have nothing against someone or something. Have nothing against someone or something. Have nothing against someone or something. What is the meaning of having nothing against someone or something? Well, when you have nothing against someone or something, it means you don't find someone or something annoying or offensive. Someone does not annoy you or offend you, which is why you don't hate them or which is why you don't dislike them, which is why there is no reason for you to hate them or dislike them. So when someone does not offend you or annoy you and there is no reason for you to hate them or dislike them, in such a case, we can say that you have nothing against them. An example, she might be annoying sometimes, but personally, I have nothing against her. She might be annoying sometimes, but personally, I have nothing against her. She might be annoying sometimes, but personally, I have nothing against her. Which means, sometimes she might be annoying to others. Other people may find her annoying, but personally, she's never annoyed me or offended me, and I have no reason to dislike or hate her. So, I can say, I have nothing against her. I have no reason to dislike or hate her. I have nothing against her. Now let's move on to the next English phrase in which the word nothing is used, which is there is nothing like something. There is nothing like something. There is nothing like something. When we say there is nothing like something, what we mean is that something is great, something is fantastic, something is enjoyable, something is indescribable. You find something extremely enjoyable and very pleasant. So there is nothing like something. An example, there is nothing like a long trip with your loved ones. There is nothing like a long trip with your loved ones. There is nothing like a long trip with your loved ones, which means nothing is more enjoyable, more pleasurable and more pleasant than a long trip with your loved ones, with the ones that you truly love. So there is nothing like a long trip with your loved ones. Guys, is there anything that you believe there is nothing like? I want you to comment it down below until we find out what it is and why you find it enjoyable. Now let's move on to the next English phrase in which the word nothing is used, which is there is nothing in something. There is nothing in something. When we say there is nothing in something, it means something is baseless. Something is groundless. Something has no basis in fact. Something is not true. So when we say there is nothing in something, it means people are talking about something. People are saying something which is not true, which is not acceptable. Or what people are saying is not true. So there is nothing in something. Let me give you an example. I have heard she's got a divorce, but I believe there is nothing in it. I have heard she's got a divorce, but I believe there is nothing in it. I have heard she's got a divorce, but I believe there is nothing in it. Which means, I have heard that she's got a divorce, but I strongly believe that it is not true. It is not the case. The news of her getting a divorce is baseless groundless, not true, false. So, I have heard that she's got a divorce, but I believe there is nothing in it. Now let's proceed to the next English phrase with the word nothing, which is there is nothing to it. There is nothing to it. There is nothing 
to it. We can use there is nothing to it to emphasize that something is easy. It is easy to do something. So one way of saying it is easy to do something or doing something is easy in English without using the word easy is there is nothing to it. What a beautiful phrase, right? There is nothing to it. So the next time you want to say something is really easy, something is like a piece of cake, or you can do something with your eyes closed, you can do something hands down, you can do something in a blindfold, you can do something with one hand tied behind your back, you can do something easily, you can say, oh, there is nothing to it, which means it's very easy. Let me give you an example. Everyone can learn English. There is nothing to it. Everyone can learn English. There is nothing to it. Which means learning English is very easy. Everyone can do it. Everyone can learn English. It's very easy. Everyone can learn English. There is nothing to it. Now let me focus your attention on the next phrase in which the word nothing is used with which you can form beautiful sentences. Which is have nothing to do with someone or something. Have nothing to do with someone or something. Have nothing to do with someone or something. When we say something has nothing to do with someone or something, it means something does not involve someone or something. Or something does not concern someone or something. For example, when you say, let's say, something has nothing to do with me. It means something does not involve me. Something does not involve my life. My life is not involved in something. Something does not concern me, does not worry me because my life is not involved in it or it's not going to involve me in it in any way, shape or form. So, have nothing to do with someone or something. An example, your personal life has nothing to do with my life decisions. Your personal life has nothing to do with my life decisions. Your personal life has nothing to do with my life decisions. Which means my life decisions are not involved in your personal life or your personal life is not related to my life decisions. These two things, your personal life and my life decisions have no relationship with one another. They're not related and relevant to one another. They don't affect each other. Now let me focus your attention on the next beautiful phrase in which the word nothing is used, which is do something for nothing. Do something for nothing. Do something for nothing. When someone does something for nothing, they do it free of charge. They do it without charging you. They do it without asking you for money. They do it without asking you to pay them. So to do something for nothing. Have you ever done something for nothing for others? If the answer is yes, I want you to comment it down below to see what it was and why you did it for them for nothing. Now let me give you an example of this phrase. Why pay a painter when my brother will do the painting for nothing? Why pay a painter when my brother will do the painting for nothing? Which means why pay a painter when my brother will do the painting free of charge, without charging us, without asking us for money, without asking us to pay him in order to do the painting? Now let's get to the next beautiful English phrase in which the word nothing is used, which is be nothing if not something. 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 When we say someone is nothing if not something, for example, if not patient, if not hardworking, if not smart, if not clever, if not something, it means they have a certain quality. We're trying to emphasize that someone has an outstanding or a noticeable quality or someone has a certain quality. Let me give you an example. He's nothing if not hardworking. He's nothing if not hardworking, which means he's very hardworking. One more example. Have a look at his cars. He's nothing if not rich. Have a look at his cars. He's nothing if not rich. Have a look at his cars. He's nothing if not rich, which means have a look at his cars. He's very rich. He's nothing if not rich, which means he's very, very rich. So, when we say someone is nothing if not something, if not, let's say, uh, beautiful, if not handsome, if not rich, if not generous, if not intelligent. It means someone is very rich, very intelligent, very handsome, very beautiful, and whatever.
Now let's focus on the next phrase in which the word nothing is used, which is have nothing on someone or something. Have nothing on someone or something. When we say someone has nothing on someone else, it means someone is not better than someone else at doing something or someone doesn't have an advantage over someone else when it comes to doing something or someone is not better than someone else when it comes to doing something or someone is not superior to someone else when it comes to doing something. So, when the person A has nothing on the person B, it means the person A is not better than the person B at doing something. An example, you have nothing on me when it comes to driving. You have nothing on me when it comes to driving. You have nothing on me when it comes to driving. Which means you're not better than me when it comes to driving. You're not better than I am when it comes to driving. You're not better than me at driving. And that's about it guys. So in today's video you learned some beautiful English phrases made with the word nothing that you can use to sound more advanced, take your English to the next level or step further to a whole new level and sound more advanced and like native speakers. Let's review all these phrases once again together. Have nothing against someone or something. Have nothing against someone or something. There is nothing like something. There is nothing like something. There is nothing in something. There is nothing in something. There is nothing to it. There is nothing to it. Have nothing to do with someone or something. Have nothing to do with someone or something. Do something for nothing. Do something for nothing. Be nothing if not something. Be nothing if not something. Have nothing on somebody. Have nothing on somebody. Now what I currently want you to do, as I always do, is like this video in support of this channel. Guys, I put a lot of effort into making these videos, so I kindly want you to like this video in support of this channel, these videos, and the effort, the endless and ongoing effort I put into making these videos. I help you with your English, you kindly help me with the growth of this fantastic YouTube channel. And a special thanks to those who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, and also like each and every single video I upload and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Leave a comment down below by telling me from which country you're watching my videos and how you find my videos and what you think of them. I'll be back soon.